students at UAB are on high alert tonight, concerned for their own safety. All this after two violent attacks happened within 10 hours of each other, and one of the suspects is still on the loose tonight. WIET 42 News reporter Lillian Lalo joins us live from University House Student Apartments, where one female student was kidnapped at knife point. And Lillian, is she okay tonight? Well, police say the victim is fine, just shaken up, but that doesn't change the fact that two violent crimes happened here within just a matter of hours, and students are terrified. Well, everyone's worried. I've, I've got a roommate who's got a stun gun already. UAB junior Alana Deneen tells WIAT 42 News she's scared at her own home. Parents want us to move. Obviously, we've got leases that we've got to stick to, but trying to look into other options. Monday afternoon, Birmingham police say a female student was carjacked at knife point inside the parking garage at the University House Apartments. The suspect, 19-year-old Kenneth Dillard, forced the victim into the car and drove off with her, then dropped her off a few blocks away. With just some basic, basic police work, they were able to locate that suspect within half an hour. I, I believe he's a dangerous individual. And today he's off the street. But just hours later, four more UAB students were robbed at gunpoint in another parking garage, this time on campus. Three of those students were taken to the hospital, and tonight those students are okay, but campus police is still looking for the attacker. Safety and security is our top priority. That's what we do here as a law enforcement agency. Uh, we've increased patrols in and around the campus, uh, also at our off campus properties. While students like Deneen question whether that will be enough. It seems like something needs to be done or changed. Now, we reached out to the management company that owns this apartment building, and they say that they've reached out to the residents, reminding them how to stay safe. Meanwhile, they're also working with Birmingham police. Live in Birmingham, Lillian Lalo, WIET 42 News, coverage you can count on.